Hello everyone, I'm Cody with Complete America. We're here today with the KJC503 Jaw Crusher and are going to do a basic tutorial on how to operate it. Please review and follow all safety and maintenance procedures outlined in the user's manual prior to operating any complete machinery. Always be sure to wear the proper safety gear, including protective clothing, high visibility clothing, safety footwear, helmet, gloves, goggles, and hearing protection. Never operate your machine with any side doors open or protective covers disassembled. Prior to processing any material, be careful and check the type of material you are crushing and make sure it is a non-hazardous waste substance. In addition, make sure the jaw crusher you are using has enough power to process the material's hardness. The KJC503 makes short work of hard, brittle materials. This includes concrete, demolition waste, softer stone, brick, and asphalt. From its 19 inch by 10 inch single toggle jaw crusher, this small crusher accepts materials between 8 inches and 10 inches in size, with an output size adjustable down to 3 quarters of an inch. For soft and medium rock, we recommend setting the jaw all the way open the first time you crush the material, and then the second time around, set it to your desired output size. If you are crushing reinforced concrete, make sure there are not any long pieces of rebar sticking out of the concrete to avoid a piece getting caught at the bottom of the jaw and ripping the extraction belt. Before we go over how to start the KJC503 and sync the remote controller, please take a moment to familiarize yourself with its screen display icons. High coolant temperature, crusher on, alternator not charging, low pressure engine oil, preheater, clogged air filter, low fuel level, and display engine speed indicator. The wireless remote controller is used to control the crawler tracks, loading conveyor belt, crusher, extraction conveyor belt, and start the dust suppression system. The emergency stop button on the wireless remote controller stops all machine functions except the diesel engine, which remains on. To start the KJC503, first make sure the power switch is on and in a vertical position. Then pull and twist the emergency stop button to make sure it is not pushed in. Next, turn the ignition key to the right so the display screen turns on. Once the screen is on and the display icons disappear, you can turn the key all the way to the right to start the engine. If this is your first time starting the machine for the day and the engine is cold, then turn the key slightly to activate the preheater before you fully turn it to start the engine. And be sure to let it run in idle for a few minutes to warm up. To sync the remote controller, twist and pull the emergency stop button and make sure all the switches are in the down or neutral position. Next, turn the power switch on the left side so the green light on top starts to flash fast. At this time, press the green button on the left side once for a brief second until you see the green light on top start to flash slower. Now that the remote controller is synced, move the accelerator lever to full throttle. The recommended speed for crushing is between 2000 and 2250 RPMs. Use the left and right joysticks on the remote controller to move the tracks, and if you need to turn 180 or 360 degrees, then make sure you are in turtle mode to easily turn the unit. When you have the machine in place on flat ground, and are ready to start crushing, set your desired output size by pressing the jaw adjustment switch up or down to open or close the jaw inlet opening. You should never start the jaw crusher function with material already in the jaw chamber. Always clean out any material before you begin crushing. Before you begin crushing, make sure you have set your loading conveyor belt speed using the black knob on the left side of the machine. We recommend setting it very slow to help prevent overloading the jaw inlet opening. Always start the extraction conveyor belt first, then the jaw crusher mechanism, and finally the loading belt conveyor. 
and when shutting down the machine, reverse this order and shut down the loading conveyor belt, then the crusher, and finally, the extraction conveyor belt last. Do not move the machine while the jaw crusher is on and belts are running. If you need to adjust the jaw size opening to make your output size smaller while the jaw crusher function is on, then first shut off the loading conveyor belt and allow the jaw crusher to crush all material within the jaw before making the adjustment. If the machine jams at any time, shut off the loading conveyor belt and open the jaw all the way to help the material fall through. If you do overload and jam the crusher, you should check to see if the clutch safety plugs have blown. The clutch safety plugs are located on the hydraulic coupling, which is connected to the clutch and will heat up and leak oil if the machine is overloaded or experiences extreme stress. This is a safety mechanism to prevent catastrophic damage to the clutch. We recommend using a mini excavator to load the KJC 503, but you may also use a skid steer or backhoe as well. Load as clean of a material as possible with minimal dirt to avoid it building up in the hopper and jaw chamber and reducing your production output. Never drop material directly into the jaw chamber and always load material into the hopper. Also be sure to not drop material from a very high distance to avoid ripping your loading belt rubber sills that run along each side of the belt and prevent material from getting underneath and causing damage. In addition, we recommend you only fill the hopper halfway or three quarters of the way depending on the type of material you are crushing to avoid overloading the belt and causing it to slip. Also, be sure to periodically check and adjust your belts so they have proper tension and are center aligned to prevent them from slipping and suffering unnecessary wear. After using the machine, always be sure to clean and check the belt rollers, hopper, and jaw chamber and remove any built up material that can cause wear over time. Always be sure to grease all grease points every 8 hours as well as check the air filter periodically to ensure optimal operating conditions. This concludes the basic tutorial on how to operate the Complet KJC 503 jaw crusher. If you have any questions, please reach out to our team at www.completamerica.com or call us at 908-369-3340.